Hello everyone, this is Matt from Flying Feet Sports Shoes and today I am reviewing one of Sulky's most popular running shoes on the market and one of my personal favorites, the Convara 8. So let's first compare the Convara 8 with its predecessor, the Convara 7. At first glance, it looks like the only change that was made was to the upper and the design of the shoe, but that is not the case. In the Sulky Convara 7, they used the new Everon material for the first time, and it was only in the heel of the shoe. In the Gavara 8, they changed that, and they added a full topsole of the Everon material, which definitely gives it a more bouncy, responsive, and cushioned sensation than the Gavara 7. Also, they reduced the amount of flex film that they used in the toe box of the shoe, which gives it a more breathable, comfortable, and flexible sensation when you wear this shoe. So tech-wise, this shoe has a four millimeter heel to toe drop and comes in at 7.9 ounces and 6.9 ounces in woman's sizing. It's gonna be a very lightweight running shoe and it has a very low drop, so it's gonna be good for speed workouts as well as any fast-paced running. But since it does have that layer of Everrun ever -run foam, in the top sole of the shoe, it does feel pretty cushioned and I would say you can take it on longer distance runs as well as short distance. So let's get into what I like and dislike about the Sulcany Kinvara 8. So my first pro is going to be the reduced amount of flex film on the Kinvara 8 compared to the Kinvara 7. It just makes it that much more breathable, that much more flexible, and that much more comfortable of a shoe to wear. And my second pro is going to be that Everrun material they use throughout the entire length of the shoe this time underneath the insole. It's nice and squishy um, when you're running in it, especially in the forefoot, you feel that extra kind of bounce and it just gives a nice responsive feel to the shoe that we didn't have on the Convara 7. And my third pro is going to be the weight. This shoe comes in at 7.9 ounces and 6.9 ounces in the woman's sizing. That is extremely lightweight for a running shoe. And if it wasn't for that bouncy Everrun material underneath the insole and the top sole of the shoe, I would almost forget that I was wearing a running shoe. That's how light this shoe is. So my only con with the Sulcony Convara 8 is gonna be the durability. Sulcony made this shoe to be super lightweight and super fast, which they did a great job with. But when it comes to the durability, it lacks a little bit. If you would be running any light trail with this shoe, running on gravel or anything, and would catch a bigger rock or snag it on the upper, I'd be afraid that it might rip because it is pretty thin. When it comes to the outsole, this shoe only has rubber in these blue sections of the shoe. So this side and this side are both just the foam of the shoe, and that wears down pretty quickly. So if you're looking for a super durable shoe, I would say try something else. Um, if you like the salty line, maybe try the ride. But if you're looking for something very lightweight to use on race days or just something lighter in general to run in, definitely give this a shot. Now, in conclusion, if you're looking for a lightweight running shoe that you could use for race days, long distance running, short distance running, and speed workouts, I say give the Sulcan Gavara 8 a shot and you will not be disappointed. Now, if you want to see any of our new products that we get in at Flying Feet right away, don't forget to like our Instagram page at Flying Feet Sports Shoes. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly videos. If you want to see any of the other videos we have on this channel, hit the link below. Now from everyone at Flying Feet, we'll see you next week.